That's right, a new valve module, pleasing to the ears and the eyes. It's basically a safety valve module with a few added features. Just doing some exercise, test equipment style, but basically, it's a sort of a lo-fi VCA, which stands for voltage controlled amplifier, which is basically a volume knob, but instead of your hand wiggling the knob, it's electricity wiggling the knob, and the knob's imaginary. This is achieved by cutting the ground to the cathode plates in the two stages of the 12AX7, which in essence stops it from doing its job properly, which kind of sort of turns it down in a really crappy way, but endearing nonetheless. Anyway, enough of this jibber jabber. Let's uh, go and build it. Right, so this is a schematic of the machine. It looks a little complicated until you look a little closer and see those ovals are actually the two parts of the valve. This is a strip board layout that we're gonna be making today. <sighs> anyway, these are the components. As you can see, there's not that many. There's a valve, there's some resistors. All of this is available in a list on my website, including these lovely things in my hand. There's a nice metal panel, which is what we're gonna lay down and put the components on top so we can kind of do it by eye and put dots where we wanna drill the holes. Lovely jubbly. We go outside and we get some pilot holes, blip, 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 and then some bigger holes, and we get drilling, and then we get a big one, and then you rip it apart and give it a good old spray spray, whatever colour you want, but I like the colour black because it looks classic. And then you do some doodles with a silver sharpie or any equivalent thing. You're the artist, you don't even need this. Use Dymo, I don't care, do whatever you want. Now start putting the components in. You maybe start with your bike putting the valve socket in. That's a nice thing that you can squeeze your valve into, and then you tighten all of the bits in and try not to scratch the panel, which which I think I managed to do a couple of times on this, which is so annoying! This is the standoff pin and it's used to hold up this strip board, which we're gonna kind of measure right now, compared to the actual picture, which I think is wise to print out and plop on top of it. Then you kind of sharpie out exactly where you want the bits, and you kind of figure out how many holes it's gonna be, and snappity snappity snoo. Then you start laying out all of the components and soldering them down, putting dots, marking them off the picture whenever you, you know, solder them and stuff. Start with the resistors, and then get on the the capacitors and the jumper cables you know just search up easy how to do soldering and you might be able to sort it out like you'll figure it out I mean anybody can do it if they really try but you keep on doing this until slowly but surely it looks like that and then you pop the uh, little op amp in and it looks lovely and then you go over to the panel which is now time to put all of the wires together or that kind of match up with that strip board layout you like doodly doodly do and it like seems complicated but if you take it one by one step by step doing all the wires methodically and making sure you don't make any mistakes then you'll figure it out and it'll be fine now you need to connect the strip board to the panel using the wires that you soldered before and you put them all in place and it looks lovely and it starts looking like a rat nest but who cares about that now it's time to pop in the valve and admire your beautiful work look at that it's amazing you could probably get this built in about an hour and a half if you were working quite quickly but you know do it carefully so you don't make any mistakes and then pop it in you know, just like that. So here's the old safety valve. What I've done is I've just plugged it in to where this one was to kind of see what it sounds like because I haven't actually played around with this that much. So um, let's just uh, try some things out. Let's just plug it in how it used to be plugged in first and then go from there. So input and then output. So this is the baseline without the safety valve. Still sort of distorted because I actually got a distortion before. Right, let's turn on the safety valve. Seems to be distorting. So let's turn it on. So that was basically three oscillators going into a low pass filter which went into one distortion and then it went into the safety valve distortion which makes it sound pretty damn distorted. So now it's time to try it as a VCA. So I'm going to turn off the VCA that is actually controlling that bass line. 
Now I'm going to take the envelope generator that was controlling the original VCA and then plug it into the safety valve's control voltage input. Let's do that right now. Now you hear there's no volume, that's because it's acting as a volume knob and the volume knob's on zero. So now when I press a note on the keyboard, it should play through the VCA, momentarily turning up the volume knob. <laughs> And the cool thing is when you flick the squelch knob, it kind of acts as a really strange sounding VCA. It kind of acts as a lot of weird squelchy character. <laughs> It's a lot different to a normal VCA because a VCA by definition usually just acts as like a volume knob. This kind of acts as a volume knob that kind of messes with the sound as well. So the higher the volume gets on the safety valve, the more distorted it gets. It just sounds overall a pretty gnarly sounding VCA. <laughs> So now I've got it set up in such a way that this 1930s radio from an aircraft is kind of tuned in to probably the only radio station I can actually find on it, which I think is some football. And then it's going into the safety valve, which is acting like a VCA, which is being triggered by a drum trigger. It's quite distorted and this isn't got a very strong signal on the actual channel, so it's already got a bit of noise, but it sounds kind of cool. So it kind of sounds like a clap, but if we played out with some other drum sounds, it sounds pretty funky. Every time it triggers, it actually sidechains itself because it's kind of oversaturating, which kind of sucks the volume in. One last thing I want to try is just a simple sine wave and just see how crunchy you can get it because the actual safety valve before really struggled with single waveforms because they're just so perfect and lovely, especially square waves because they're already squared off. A, a distortion doesn't really do much to a square wave, but let's see what it does to this sine wave. Simple sine wave, let's turn it on. As you can see, it's quite an unwieldy beast, but it does serve the purpose of being quite an odd, strange lo-fi VCA slash distortion. It adds a lot of character, I think, and I think it's um, a vast improvement upon the original uh, safety valve, which has still got its place for a good kind of crunchy thing, but I definitely think this one is um, a step up. So that's the safety valve VCA 2.0. I can't actually think of a name for it yet. Uh, I probably have by the time this video has come out. For this project, the schematic, the strip board, and a lot more information on it is over on my website. So the link is in the description for that. If you want to build this, go ahead. It's a lot of fun and it probably only will cost about 20 to 25 pounds to build. So yeah. I designed this module over on the weekend and I shared a lot of the design progress and just kind of the thinking on Patreon with vlogs and stuff like that. So if you're interested in some of the projects and how they come along and get developed, go and check it over on there. And also all of the audio that was recorded in this video, I think that was about 30 minutes worth of it, is available to download to use as like stems and loops and stuff over on my Patreon as well. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, go and download it over there. And yeah, please keep on building things. I've been Le Mum No Computer until next time. Don't be scared to try it. Ooh.